Hey guys, in this video, we are going to install Android One Pi, which is the Mi A2 Lite port for our Redmi 5 Plus or the Redmi Note 5. Code name is Wins. Without wasting more time, let's start. As you can see, guys, it started with this uh, Mi A2 Lite uh, uh, wallpaper, uh, which is of course by Google. You can see that uh, uh, it's by Google Satellite Images. So it looks really nice. Then the launcher is a four pixel launcher. And you get the teal uh, uh, Android uh, one uh, I style UI. So it's still not pixel UI. And yes, it's like available in all of the Android one uh, uh, ROMs. Uh, sorry, Android one devices. Notification dot display Google app suggestions. Everything all of the pixel launcher is present in here. Also left swipe to Google now it's present. So yeah, it's totally Android one. As you can see in the app drawer, you can see you get this apps also. Uh, not the typical file managers present we have the files co app pre-installed so yeah that's what i was going to say about this so a really light app but yeah works well on our device then we have all of the latest google apps you can see i just installed some of the apps by like news uh, wallpapers youtube uh, i guess wallpapers are also there so news photos and pubg so that's it also this rounded corners thing uh and you can see into settings at the first uh, we get this about phone not uh, down here so this is something weird mi2 light then into android 9 you can see we get the december 528 in security batch so it's an old firmware of the mi2 light not uh, even uh, january 1 2018 and it runs 3.18 kernel which is genome cf kernel also guys this mi2 light port is a cf based rom so yeah this uh, the firmware is cf so that's why uh, the smoothness is guaranteed in this rom also guys as you can see we get this uh, miui camera uh, from the mi2 light but oops it got force closed like you can see uh, it got force closed when i switched to portrait so photo works uh, a slight delay selfie works nice uh, let's try selfie video okay works it worked or not okay it works normal video it works so basic features work so portrait doesn't work just switch to square panorama manual everything works fine just portrait doesn't work because we don't have a dual camera just a single camera for us so guys as this is the portrait on we don't get like much of the features let's go into settings you can see into battery we get the adaptive battery and all basic osp features like android one features into display we get night light uh, uh, display size customizations and it's just uh oh my god we get the uh, one two three four five six six or seven six to seven uh type of dpi settings so you can like easily choose seven, six types ambient display and don't have always on display tap to wake all this stuff it's like really there yes it's there let's check dark mode it wasn't uh, working for me yep i don't know why it's not working but if you find uh, i'm doing something wrong and because of that dark mode is not working so yeah you can just tell me but dark mode doesn't work like that if i have used it on a usb rom it works you can see storage and all normal stuff system you have this caches and you can see them to camera swipe finger print mode notifications doesn't work so i just disable it swipe upon home button like this what i'm using developer options you get that OEM unlock and stuff, USB debugging and also DPI options here you can see some very quick smallest bit so I just set it to 420 and this is how it looks really nice uh, you can see all of the content on the screen so guys no major bugs are present in this MI2 light port uh, but yeah uh, one of the stuff is the notch support so we don't have a notch so the notch support is not there in this uh, 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 ROM for our device absolutely uh, so let's play a youtube video so no copyright music so i'm gonna play this no copyright sounds ah, i haven't subscribed to that channel what the fuck i just subscribed to it okay uh, oh shit what i'm doing let me just turn the mouse just showing you that the notch support is not present you can see this end uh this uh the notch so you can see i just quickly pull the status but you can easily observe it starts from here not from the starting end so yeah also 
the sound uh sound is a bit awesome on this rom i don't know why better than all the sp roms and miui if you have like if you have heard from the speakers but yeah it's better on the mi to like port so i don't know why but yeah maybe something tweaking in the vendor for the uh, audio files and stuff i don't know but yeah also pubg guys pubg mobile this uh this rom is not at all optimized for pubg if you open it it will take a lot of time to load also guys you can see this is the scenario like this part is dark this much this will only play in this uh this much part and yes like always not not supported so this part is dark <sighs> takes a lot of time guys uh, i just don't want oh shit oh shit the camera got unstable sorry for that uh, yeah it keeps on Okay, you can see it takes a lot of time to open so i don't want to even show you the gameplay because it's totally worst you won't even experience this type so just avoid playing pubg on this it will heat uh, uh, like not that much but yeah it will heat a bit and also battery will drain faster if you play pubg on this rom but yeah it's great for daily usage it's totally smooth uh, you can see one of the g app so for a smooth experience this rom I'm giving eight of ten, and for PUBG, I'm just giving uh, two out of ten. So, like you can easily describe how the PUBG performance is. So, guys, uh, if you guys have liked this video, just press the like button now. So now we are proceeding to the installation. So yeah, just press like or dislike until like whatever I have told you. Okay, so it restarted. Sorry, I didn't know it had an advanced restart. Just press power off your device and press this volume up and power buttons. Power button. sorry uh actually i'm using this mi selfie stick tripod attached to the poco f1 uh shooting with poco f1 so it gets really unstable for this poco f1 okay uh, so i accidentally restarted guys sorry just power off and press volume up and uh, power so it will directly boot into orange fox or whatever tbler pre recovery uh you are on i hope it will go into tbler p yes orange fox Okay, now into the Orange Fox recovery. Mm, takes a lot of time to load on this device. I don't know why, like Snapdragon six twenty five. Dalvik system data cache and vendor. That's what you have to wipe. Now go to install and choose the M I A to light port. Just this one zip to flash. Nothing else. and you can see the installation stuff so like let's wait for this to get easily installed so guys the mi2 port has been flashed just reboot and you get your boot logo and if you just want custom boot logos like me here's the video you can just check it out in the uh, i button so yeah, i have made a different uh, a video on that yeah and we have a lot of boot uh, boot logos flash logos what do you call this Like over twenty plus, so we just move to the XT thread, and this is the Android one uh, boot animation. Yeah, actually, uh, weird and really shitty. So just ending this video. Uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, video installation of the Android one nine dot a pi M I two light port for a Redmi five plus or the Redmi Note five, which is code name as Vince, of course. So yeah, if you guys like this video, press the like button. If not, just like, subscribe. Uh, Do what you want and bye bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. And yes, Android Q G S G S I. I will just flash uh, uh, right after I reach the office. So yeah, I will just uh, post it on Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram, the link is down in the description. Also, I have just uh, uh, added a gaming channel on YouTube. So you can just uh, subscribe me if you want to. Uh, just if you in case if you want to just subscribe, just go. It's in that. Link down below in the description. And bye bye. Enough of the boredom.